Uh, Jack, I'm beginning to think maybe uh, I shouldn't have done these interviews yesterday and today. Should I feel guilty? You know, I don't know, Wolf. If war breaks out between Pakistan and Afghanistan, uh, you know, you may have some guys coming by and knocking on your door asking for transcripts. Uh, ordinarily, we don't do a question two days in a row, but this is important enough to be an exception. The House just passed President Bush's bill to redefine the treatment of detainees, and the Senate's expected to do the same thing tomorrow. Buried deep inside this legislation is a provision that will pardon President Bush and all the members of his administration of any possible crimes connected with the torture and mistreatment of detainees dated all the way back to September 11, 2001. At least President Nixon had Gerald Ford to do his dirty work. President Bush is trying to pardon himself. Here's the deal. Under the War Crimes Act, violations of the Geneva Conventions are felonies, in some cases punishable by death. When the Supreme Court ruled the Geneva Conventions applied to Al-Qaeda and Taliban detainees, President Bush and his boys were suddenly in big trouble. They've been working these prisoners over pretty good. In an effort to avoid possible prosecution, they're trying to cram this bill through Congress before the end of the week when Congress adjourns. The reason there's such a rush to do this, if the Democrats get control of the House in November, well, this kind of legislation probably wouldn't pass. You want to know the real disgrace of what these people are about to do or in the process of doing? Senator Bill Frist and Congressman Dennis Hastert and their Republican stooges apparently don't see anything wrong with this. I really do wonder sometimes what we're becoming in this country. The question is this, should Congress pass a bill giving retroactive immunity to President Bush for possible war crimes? Email your thoughts to Cafferty File at CNN.com or go to CNN.com slash Cafferty File. Wolf. Jack, thank